What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we got a Honda Accord here. We're gonna look at the fuel trim on this baby. If you got lean cords, you might want to check this video out. It could be a four-cylinder or six-cylinder cord. It could be any Honda lean cord. You need to check a few things out before anything and determine uh, if the lean has fixed or not. All you need to do is look at the data on your scan tool. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so first of all, I uh, got this car running, it's nice and hot, okay? So, we don't have a map sensor, we have a map sensor, okay? So you need to check a few things out uh, on the scan tool. If you got a good fuel trim, okay, if you got a good fuel trim on your vehicle, uh, if your car is fixed, you want to see a fuel trim, okay? It's negative 0.01. It's, it's zero pretty much, okay? Plus or minus 10 is fine. Uh, but this is perfect. This car has no issues whatsoever. Uh, no lean issues. So what would cause lean issues? It could be one thing. could be a vacuum leak. Uh it could be your injectors clogged up. It could be the fuel uh, diaphragm. Uh, it could be the fuel pump not building the pressure. It could be a bad fuel itself, okay? Um, so we got a good data here. So this is the data here. And uh, uh, it could be your oxygen sensor, okay? Your first air to fuel ratio oxygen sensor. Those, that is one of the main reasons why. It could be your EGR wall, which is uh, stuck open, and uh, it could be your intake gasket. So a lot of things, but but what you want to do is check your data. Try to spray some kind of chemicals, like uh, brake cleaner usually works, to see if there's any leaks into the system, okay? If there's any leaks, like the intake, uh, vacuum pipes, cracked hoses, stuck open a uh, valve, uh, EGR valve, or it could be an EVAP uh, valve. Uh, it, could be a, it could be a bad sample, so, simple as a bad sensor, a uh, bad oxygen sensor. If you got a mass airflow sensor, which will be located here, that'd be one of another reasons why your car will run lean. Uh, one thing you do want to do is you want to check your uh, coolant temperature sensor, okay? So make sure your car is nice and hot. Uh, your car, if your car is nice and hot, let's see if you get a coolant temperature. I'm not sure if this scan tool is going to show me a coolant temp sensor. Okay. Uh, let's see if we got any. Okay. Okay, it's not... It is there, but it's not giving me any readings. Anyways, uh, that's fine. The car is nice and hot. So let's go to oxygen sensors, okay? So your heated oxygen sensors, you can compare the values here, okay, with your core. This is a 2004, 2.4, uh, four-cylinder VTEC. There you go. So we got a heated oxygen sensor. Those are the values, okay? Voltage 0.18. Um, those are the values of the oxygen sensor. If you guys want to compare to see uh, if your oxygen sensor is performing like it's supposed to do, air to fuel ratio is on uh, 0.72 heated oxygen sensor. And that's everything, guys. So if this video can help you guys pinpoint why your car is running lean, why you're getting lean condition codes, P0171, that'd be one of the things that you want to look into. Um, Anyways, hopefully I help you guys out. Thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned for more videos. See you guys on the next one.